and welcome everybody to the Stefano's Magic, where every episode is a journey inside the enchanting world of Disney. I'm Anthony. And I'm Nicole. And we're back. It's been a couple weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks. Yeah, we're but doing we, bi-weekly. We, yeah, we put a vlog in there though. We put a vlog. Yeah, that was so fun. Mm -hmm. And people loved it. Do you guys like our home vlogs? We did an Ocean City Boardwalk vlog. Not my favorite boardwalk. No, I mean, it was Disney's fun, though. It was, it was fun, though. We wanted to test out our new camera, but you guys liked it, so. Yeah, the new camera is amazing. Mm -hmm. We had the DJ Osmo Pocket 3 or whatever. The oh, one no. that Morrow has. He put us on to it from watching his vlogs. Unreal. Mm -hmm. And a lot of content creators have it. It is awesome. The best thing was the mics. Like, the mics were perfect. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was so windy, mm -hmm. and you could not hear a single thing and, with those mics. Yeah, and I did not know that it blocked out noises. Like I was like, this is, it's going to be so windy. Should we even go? Yeah. I, listen, it was a success. It was a mission completed and we have more home vlogs coming, but in 16 days time, we will be in Disney for five days, which means 17 vlogs. No, probably like 12 <laughs> vlogs. I have a list on our Patreon. It's like 10 or 12 vlogs mm -hmm. because we have our new series coming, which if you're a Patreon, you heard about <laughs> it. I'm not announcing it. It's just going to drop two episodes of that, two resort reviews, three um, restaurant reviews, mm -hmm. and the the multi-pass. So there's nine vlogs right there. Or right. Like that. So mostly we know definitely like the resort tours will get done, the food re reviews. We have to like the park content we're definitely going to try to push, but it is like hot. It's really hot. So that's why a lot of these you know? vlogs are going to be more inside mm -hmm. stuff. We did have a... Um, a request for like more character meet and greets, which would be a fun challenge oh. to see how many character meet and greets we can do in Disney World in one day. See, I'm awkward with the yeah, but it would just be fun, like you know, without using any lightning lane or anything. How many characters can we meet in the whole like like Disney World as a whole in one day? Because oh, okay. we have the hopper. Mm -hmm. I think that would be super fun. That's fun. I think that would be a fun one. I don't think we're probably going to get to it this vacation with all the stuff we have. Oh, right. But it's definitely a future one that I was recommending. I was like, that's a pretty good idea. That'd be fun to kind of do with the kids, though. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Like yeah. a family vlog. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the family vlog that we did in Ocean City was great. We're going to do one for the Wildwood Boardwalk. We're going to do like t trying the top three pizza spots. Yeah. But that's just what's going on in our brand. Um, We are super, super excited to go to Disney World, but Disney World's changing. Magic Kingdom has a lot of changes coming up. And I know D23 is a month away and we will be here that whole weekend. We'll probably do like two or three episodes yeah. that weekend. Maybe do a live maybe stream we'll go live. and just talk about it because it is supposed to be the biggest D23 ever. Yeah. And I and for us Disney World people, it's supposed to be the biggest ever. And I think it's going to be mm -hmm. with everything they're about to announce but we were looking and we we're like when we go certain things are opening certain things are closing but magic kingdom is going through such a change right now but like uh, i mean it's good at, but and bad for like these people that plan their once once a year trip or yep. you know once every five years and they want to go in the summer because the kids are off there's so many rides that are closed for refurb and, and like then, big rides. And then you're starting to multi-pass in the summer too. So it's like so many things are just like, whoa, this is different now. Yeah. But we're going to go over the things that are changing. But, you know, I'm not one of these people that get upset about change. I know no. people do. I'm excited for the change. Um, for example, the new Bear Jamboree or whatever oh. was so good. I saw so many people. Like the comments were so mean. Like they rushed it. Like, you know, like people just like. To Nobody went to that ride. Nobody. Nobody. People like to be mean. It got yeah. refreshed. I mean, I don't know. I, I thought it was so it. cute. I loved it. We got so excited when they played Coco. Yeah. People are like, they, Disney's lazy because they didn't make new songs. I mean. I they took their IP and made them do it's a modern version of it a country version of it it's a yeah. remix of it i think that's super I fun i like it but i'm different than a lot of there's some people disney fans that don't like change and i that's, like it. i understand some people don't like change i get it but that ride did it matter mm -mm. i don't think so i don't think but i understand people are like tiana deserves her own ride mm -hmm. not a refurbishment but I'm someone who's like Splash Mountain turning into Tiana's is the best thing that happened. That's, That's just my outlook on it, mm -hmm. right? Because you're using what you have, you're using your IP and you're making something old 
new. New, yeah. You know, you're bringing it up to date. And that's what I think the biggest thing, why they're doing all this construction Magic Kingdom is to bring stuff back to date, like up to date. Right. And I think with all their new animatronics and this new technology, it's going to take like a decade probably. It they, you know? they agreed to spend billions and billions of dollars over the next 15 to 20 years and yeah. they're going to do that. Yeah. And they are wasting no time at all. No. So after this short break, we're going to get in to what um what's happening at Magic Kingdom. But before, if you guys want to follow us on any social media platform, the Stefano's Magic, we have a Patreon right here. That helps us so much. Um, you're getting exclusive content there. Uh, I wrote a Patreon review on Descendants 4 today. Mm-hmm. Um, Nicole's going to be putting some more stuff up. I've done restaurant reviews. We're going to do more um, content with you know, cameras and audio and video. And we're going to like really expand because we want to know what you guys want to see on Patreon. But that $3 a month goes a really, really long way for us. Yeah. And it helps us do what we're doing mm-hmm. where um, this new series is pretty much going to be funded by Patreon because we're going to be trying certain foods that I probably wouldn't have tried. But, right. You know, yeah. or, you know, so it's going to be super exciting. But if you want to join, that helps us. If you're on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. But enough with this. Let's get into our break so we can come back and talk about what's happening in Magic Kingdom. So let's get into the big refurbishments for the summer in Magic Kingdom. I mean, I was shocked by both of these, kind of. Yeah. I mean, there's certain rides that go down for maintenance. Every Big Thunder goes down for like a a couple weeks in January, February, like that. They could do maintenance on the ride. But I think Jungle Cruise closing... In it's closing August 26th till mid September. They have to get that ride open before the holidays. Yes, because Jingle, Jingle Cruise, Cruise, which they said they are. So I don't know what they're going to do, though. I mean, there's a lot of animatronics on Jungle Cruise. It is a water ride. We've seen how water rides react, react with animatronics with Tiana's. Right. Maybe that's what they're doing. They're Maybe. just making sure stuff runs properly. Maybe some stuff's broke. I'm OK with it. Right. Refurbishments need to happen. I don't like how they're kind of all on top of each other. Right. Like you close the shooting range. I know the shooting range isn't huge, right? But you're turning that into a DVC lounge. Then Country Bear Jamboree closed. Now you you just reopened that. Right. Then you refurb Tiana's and you just opened that. But everything seems to be just like happening at once. Mm-hmm. You know, Tortuga Tavern, done. You're Permanent probably making the Pirates Bar there. I think that's where they teased last year, D23, that we were getting a Pirate ta- Tavern. And that closed indefinitely. So that's... Yeah. I think that's where it's going. Uh, that's I said that from day one. I said there's no need to have Tortuga Tavern. Get yeah, rid of it. It's never it open. Pirate. But that, you know? it's the perfect landscape. It's right there. Like perfect. it's yeah. right in that Adventureland area where Pirates is. But yeah, I mean, there's so many changes. And like I get Jungle Cruise going down. There's a lot. It's a fan favorite, though. It's always one of the highest wait times, but there's a lot of animatronics. Only because of the loading for that, though. But I feel like, because I, I feel like a lot of people don't rope drop that ride, or I could be wrong. Maybe they We don't, don't rope drop we it. We don't, but do other people? I guess people that... It's never really like an early ride that people jump on, I don't right. believe. I but believe it, people run to Snow White or Peter Pan. Yeah. It's the late day. The midday is 45 to well, 65 it's all the time. The loading the boats, though, yeah. because you can only get a certain amount of people on at once and they all get backed up. And the, don't those things die a lot? I never heard not. of that. Oh, no, that's in Animal Kingdom. So the safari. Yeah. Things, yeah. Those yeah die. They die. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I think Jungle Cruise, it could use a refurb. Are they going to make the animatronics newer or are they just fixing know. them? They don't, they're really good at it, keeping stuff under wraps. Maybe they're adding new animatronics. All it says is this ride will close briefly for a scheduled refurbishment from August 26th till mid-September. So, so that's not too long, two, three weeks. So I can't see them adding much. It's right. just make sure everything runs. Yeah. And next we have Peter Pan's Flight refurbishment from July 8th to August 21st. It says Peter Pan's Flight is closing for a brief refurbishment. So I don't know. Maybe they're going to put some new animatronics in there. Let's add some stuff to it. Like, I mean, I I like the ride. Anthony doesn't. The ride has like used to be like a must do for me to now. I don't care if I ever ride it again. Uh, The the loading time slow. The wait time slow. There's no fun animatronics. Like you've Mm. seen it once. You've seen it a thousand times. 
the like the only thing I like is flying over London when they because give, then I can hum Taylor Swift so long London in my head. No, when that's they, the only thing I like. When they give you the pixie dust to start it, I love that. Okay, pixie dust, that. and let me skip the ride then because no. the ride is a waste of time because it's a minute long and you wait in line for forty five minutes. I'm sorry, I used to love Peter Pan. But every time I go on it now, I'm like, I could skip this ride. Yeah. It's cool that you're suspended. But if you've done it once, it, there's no thrill to it. There's like Haunted Mansion every time you spot something new. Pirates. Yeah. Like, I, it's just not on that level. Yeah. I don't need to go on Peter Pan. I if agree. they put new animatronics on it, I'm in. Right. I agree. It needs a facelift. I agree. Like real, like a, a story facelift, animatronic facelifts, like because it is a cool ride. It's not that long of a refurbishment. I mean, it's like a month and a half. So you can add some I don't animatronics. Know. I think I hope they add some animatronics. Like it desperately needs something. It does. Like those animatronics are struggling. Yeah, they're older. And it's just I mean, not that it's boring. I think like, I like it because it's like a classic. It is a classic. But here's the f- another thing. Peter Pan's not my favorite. Ever. Right. Ever. I know. Ever. I don't, I don't like Peter Pan. Hate. I don't just I'm not the biggest Peter Pan fan. But I used to like the ride a lot because it was super cool being you know, in the air, seeing things shrunk down to size, and that's still pretty cool. But when you go as much as we do, I don't need to ride it. Right. Like, when I go, I want to ride Tron, Guardians, mm-hmm. Pirates, Haunted like Mansion. I'm, like, it, Peter Pan doesn't make that list. That's like me with Snow White. Snow White, Peter Pan, I think both. I I'd think much rather be on Snow on White because there's thrills. 30, it's like 40 seconds, though. There's, the ride, but, but there's yeah. thrills to it. But still, you're waiting so long for that. I know. Like, the wait times are way longer for that than Peter Pan. Sometimes yes. Peter Pan gets up to like 75 minutes. We got in line and you saw it in the challenge and it was 45 minutes and we were in line for what, an hour and five minutes? Yeah, but Snow White always has the highest wait time I, in that part. I know. And that's why you rope drop it or you yeah. or you now you can multi-pass it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you you get what I'm saying. Peter Pan needs that facelift. Yeah. Peter Pan is, is a fun classic ride, mm-hmm. but I, I, I'm not going to say it needs to be totally changed, but man, bring it up with the times, right. the animatronics. There's so much more you could do mm-hmm. with that story. Right. Like, well, why isn't Peter Pan, like Peter Pan flying next to you? Like what? Like yeah. you could have so many, like so much cool things happening in that ride. I do like the queue though. The queue's cool. The queue's cute. I yeah. don't know. Whatever. What else we got? We got Frontierland, Country Bear Jamery, which you touched on because right now you're only seeing vlogs out there that Disney invited these people yes. out to. It's not open till officially till July 27th. Okay. So. so, but I'm here for it. Like I love. We're going to go see it. I thought it was so cute when they did the Coco part. What? We're obsessed with Coco. I'm, I know we're obsessed. I, people with Coco. are listening to this. They're like, okay, we the, get it. You love Coco. Yeah, the Aladdin. I though Coco. I could see show you the world, and he's like hanging. I thought it was cute. I don't know. Yeah, watch Morrow's log on it. It was yeah. really fun. Or I, Tracker, they did a cute one. Oh, I didn't get to watch Tracker, <laughs> yet, but it was it. so so fun to see them take a, yeah. a ride and, and part of entertainment and just develop it. They didn't have to spend a bunch of money on it. They spent enough to bring it up to the right. times. Like they changed the costumes. They brought in country like singers and just jazzed up the Disney songs and did a little twang on and them. And it was fun. I thought it was super cute. And it's and not an expensive fix. So it's not like they're taking money off of, you know, what goes beyond Big Thunder, which we're going to talk about in the next segment. Mm-hmm. Like they're taking no money from that. So why do people care? I think people are going to go. It's in the air condition. Yes. And I think it's, they're going to want to hear the new, like we were singing along. I love Disney songs. So of course I'm going to go see it anyway. Yeah. I don't know. But it, we never had any like, oh, let's go see it. But before. then there are people that loved, like, you know, one of our friends, one yeah. of your friends loves it. Yeah. Oni. He was like, I'm not, I, he was like, so against it. There's people that love stuff for certain reasons and I'm okay with that. It's yeah. just not me. I'm someone who I'm cool with change. Mm-hmm. Like if you told me pirates are shutting down for, for refurbishment to put more stuff in it. Oh yeah. I'm like, I'm cool, cool. Let's go. Exactly. Like change it. Whatever. Haunted like in mansion, you're giving me an overlay. Whatever. Yeah. Do what you got to do. Now that's different with Tiana's and I get that where they changed the whole concept of the ride, well, but sometimes that's needed. Like I'm not going to be upset about dinosaur. I don't like Indiana Jones either. If they said in two years, Indiana Jones is turning to Rapunzel. I'm throwing a party. Like, right. But I get why people, if you told me Pirates of the Caribbean was going away forever mm-hmm. and you were changing it to something else, that I, I would have an well, issue. Yeah, I see the same with me with Haunted Mansion because so that's my favorite That's ride. why I get why people get reacted it. like that right. to Splash. Mm-hmm. But these minor changes, the frustration's more, we're going on vacation, now we can't ride it. 
That's a big problem. Well, and that's huge. That it, it is because people are spending their hard-earned money to go there, and I understand it, but it's only to make the ride safer, better, and bring them up to date. Yeah. So that's that's my kind of rebuttal to all the negativity, which I understand the negativity if you're spending that much money to oh, go there. Absolutely. Um, but we're I want to talk about Big Thunder. And Ooh. after this short break, we're gonna talk about it because Big Thunder is closing for a refurbishment, but I think something else is gonna be happening, and we'll talk about that right after yeah. the break. Next one we're going to get into, it's not like confirmed. Rumor. This is all rumored speculation, but I mean, it's out there. It's trinkled. They, Disney like mentioned it. Yeah. So I think this is going to happen. Big Thunder is supposed to be um, going over a long refurbishment, maybe about a year That's refurb to make sure the ride's quality stays the same and to set it up to stay safe and f- to run for years to come. Mm-hmm. I do think they'll be making a little bit of changes to Big Thunder. I hope so. I think Disneyland's Big Thunder looks way more cool. I think they're going to add some stuff to it. But the reason I'm saying this, and this is on WDW News today, so it's a mm-hmm. trust a website that the rumor, because um, Disney filed a permit for the refurbishment indicating the Beyond Big Thunder expansion exactly. right. project. So this is what I wanted to talk about a little bit, mm-hmm. because I feel like with the refurbishment, the walls go up. Oh, yeah. The walls go up. No one can see what's happening behind it. Those walls will be up for a long time. (laughs) But yeah, but that's when I think they're going to hit hard with this expansion. And I think in August, when D23 happens, this is going to be confirmed, confirmed exactly with dates of when Big Thunder's closing, what they're working on behind Big Thunder. Mm -hmm. But I think that Big Thunder is the first part of this process. And I think even if the land takes four or five years, I think Big Thunder, they're going to clear out so much space yeah. that you can't have them ride the ride for safety of your guests. Exactly. I mean, they did last year, D23 was blue sky images yep. and what they thought. This year, you're going to get what's confirmed, what's coming, the dates that are coming. I'm a, I am I really believe that. I do too. Seriously. I thought Disney has already filed the permits to close. Exactly. And to expand. Mm-hmm. So it's happening. It's happening. The what's are going there. We did a show what we think is going there. Mm-hmm. You know, is it Villains Land? Is it Frozen? Is That's it, what they had teased. Is villains, it fantasy, like the Disney fantasy? Like, fantasy Springs oh or whatever? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I what mean, could it be? Or is it a new land? We don't know. So, or are you expanding Frontier? Like nobody has talked about that. Maybe the Cars thing they're talking about. Right. Radiator Springs. But but they did say that this overhaul will be as big as like the Star Wars land. Yep. Like it's going to be a huge land. So we're hoping- I'm, I'm sad though. Like. Big Thunder is probably Thunder. my second favorite coaster yeah. in Disney. In Magic Kingdom. Not Disney. Oh. In Magic Kingdom. Because I like Tron. Like Tron is just That's your number one in Magic Kingdom? For roller coaster? Yeah. Oh, Tron beats because Big Thunder? The the feeling you get, and Phil, I'll put my big boy pants on because Phil tells me my tummy hurts when I go on roller coasters. Um it's just the feeling you get, the nervousness you oh, get to I ride like Tron, the, oh, the, the adrenaline. The adrenaline, yeah. You know, Big Thunder, I think, is super fun. I think it's way better than Snow White. Like, not yeah. even close. But I'm sad that it's going down because it's always the ride that you can get, like, off of Tiana's and go to Big Thunder. Right. They're right there during the parties. You can ride it three or four times in a row with, like, no weight. Right. And I love Big Thunder. And we don't know when the date is that it's closing. So I don't know if it will be open for the parties. We don't know. Who if, knows? We don't know if it's going to be open for Christmas. We I don't, don't know. know. And that's why D23 is so big. Ooh, I can't it's wait. It's so big. It's like my Super Bowl. It, it, it <laughs> like, is. For like, real. For Disney fans, like, it is the it's biggest It's like the weekend. WrestleMania of Disney. Yes. Like, you wait all year for these big announcements, yeah. for these big matches, for this big fight feel. And they deliver. Most of the time, they deliver. Okay. Like they, the blue sky thing throws me off. But here's another thing that we're not talking about. I know this isn't related to Magic Kingdom. Dinosaur. Dino Land's going to be gone. I know. Very soon. We need want dates for that though. Nothing yeah. like confirmed date. Nothing confirmed. Nothing confirmed. Like, but Dino Land's going to be gone soon. Mm-hmm. And if you guys hear some stuff, it's because it's our, our lawn. lawn guys are here. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't cut my own lawn. I'm too lazy. I don't want to be out in this heat <laughs> cutting lawns. But. I do think that that's going to be a big thing. I, I I seriously think it's going to be a big thing about Animal Kingdom. Mm-hmm. We know I, the lands are confirmed, right? The lands are confirmed. I think Conta, the lands yeah. are, yeah. No, it's confirmed. That's it's confirmed. confirmed. So we're going to get dates and then when they're going to start that. But so is Magic there going to be Kingdom, rides? Animal Kingdom, the only park that, I mean, Hollywood Studios got 
lands. Got you stuff. Got Toy Story and Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. So Epcot. Epcot has been getting stuff. Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom need some love. Definitely Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Because I'm so tired of people saying it's a zoo. Phil. And it's a half day park. <laughs> Because I really don't think so. I love Animal Kingdom, but what you did think we just... You it's a half-day part? Oh, yeah. Well, we fight about this. I think What did not. we just do last night? What did we do? We took Animal Kingdom's reservation off. We're gonna because we there. can hop there. Well, yeah, but... For a half day. If I live there, I told you my vibes be different. I could stay all day. Why, why, why did we take it off going there, then? There's not enough rides. Right. It's a half-day park. Well, no. <laughs> the beauty, I could sit there and drink a pog juice. Yeah, well, we when we, you know, eventually for five days you can't. No, I know. We got we got content to do, that's, sweetheart. That's what I'm saying content. We got content. <laughs> um, no, but I do think that D twenty three is going to be mostly Animal Kingdom. Yeah. And Magic Kingdom, the big stuff's Magic Kingdom. If you guys have not seen what they've done in Japan <laughs> with the fantasy, what is fantasy springs? Yeah, Mamali's there now. I think doing it all is like. The- we like teared up watching it on the TV. I can't imagine in person. I almost said television. I went right back to the 90s. We almost like teared up watching the, not only the Beauty and the Beast ride they made years ago, Arendelle, the Frozen ride. And they said that was like the Rapunzel ride. I know. Like, come on. Magic Kingdom is a princess park. Mm-hmm. I've said it before. I'll say it again. It needs more princess rides. Yeah. Give me rapunzel ride give me the give me all of the princess give me rides. frozen land i'm down yeah and then but what do you do with epcot i mean frozen's big enough that you can still have the frozen ever after in uh norway yeah not a big deal no. but yeah I, i'm just totally sold on everything they're doing in magic kingdom expansion wise unless they're like someone said they might do a woody ride why you have toy story land oh really well, there's one of the rumors i don't, I don't know but we have, we're excited for our trip coming up. We have three restaurants, right? Yeah. Are we doing a podcast before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we'll have one more video out and then we won't. Be we're done working nights. So the podcast might be coming back weekly. Yeah. And I'm, I'm done. I'm like thinking about doing some other stuff like a news podcast mm-hmm. where like every week I just cover the news. But I mean, we're super excited for it. Um, there's a lot. I'm excited to try La Cellier for one. Like, I mean, I've never had it. There's a lot of first. I was about to say, there's a lot of uh, first going on this trip. That's fine. La Cellier and then uh, Ravello. Mm-hmm. Uh, theme Park Foodies. By the way, breaking news. Theme Park Foodies are our next uh, guest on Creator's Corner in mm-hmm. August. Yeah. And we're super excited because they have our palate. They do. Because we're from like North. They're from Long Island, New, New, Jer- New York. And we're from New Jersey. Like, we like the same kind of Italian food. Their palate. So I already knew, like. Because we have not found an Italian restaurant in Disney. Like, we've tried. I'm like, oh, people love this. And then I'm like, eh. You want to talk about worlds colliding now? One of my friends that I met through pro wrestling, Chrissy Rivera, mm-hmm. is friends with them and would oh. share them all the time. Yeah. And that's how I got in contact with right. them. So all of my worlds just came together. Yeah. Um, and I'm so excited because they just went there and watched their the review. Look- amazing for like italian food and italian cheap. food in disney looks terrible it's i don't like, know but like they said the whole staff is from italy yeah, like you have to you like have to like fluent oh, it, like i'm just excited i'm super excited and you guys can catch all those vlogs and let us know what you're excited for what yeah. are you excited for in disney world there's a lot of stuff happening i'm excited for the expansion i'm gonna miss big thunder and i'll wait for d23 is did we miss any of them no right we, we did them all no we yeah. did them all because there's the dvc center that, that's the right, gun range the shooting ranges yeah like, but like i wish i'll say this one little thing like i wish they would have done a little jazz alley or something with tiana's maybe they're gonna say Pecos bill is closing but here's the thing that's one thing i'm holding out for what's happening at d23 exactly because that whole Frontierland is like kind of a dead. It stand, could be right? getting a major facelift. If you're closing Big Thunder, going beyond Big Thunder, you just did Tiana's. I can't see them not changing stuff around. Like it's it. weird. Like Country can, Bear Jamboree can, just changed. Like yeah, you can get beignets right now at Golden Oak, which is in Frontierland. But then Friars Nook for beignets, like which doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any sense. Like keep it all. Like give me a little jazz music, you know. Give me a little jazz alley like Disneyland has. Give us a little jazz music. Or Tiana's music. restaurant. Give us jazz music. And if you <laughs> like this episode, give it a like, a comment, or subscribe. Join us on Patreon, guys. Mad content coming. We are so excited to do these vlogs. And I'm like super jazzed, as Quincy would say, to do this Epcot thing that I have. I've had it planned. Oh, yeah. I'm super hyped for it. I think it's going to be something that's different that I don't, I've don't. i never seen anyone do. Mm-mm. Hopefully, no one does it before the two weeks. <laughs> 
No, but it's definitely something I'm excited for, and I think you will be too. Um, Patreon will get first looks at all of our vlogs that we shoot. Mm -hmm. So join our Patreon for early access, exclusive to content, giveaways, and more. Mm -hmm. And just follow us at the Stuff News Magic. Any any final thoughts? Yes. Leave a comment below. Where do you start, Mexico or Canada in Epcot? The answer is Mexico. Uh, I just want to. I'm I'm Mexico, but I just want to know. Leave the, a comment. The answer is Mexico, 100 percent of the time. But. <laughs> Um, leave a comment and leave a comment. What land do you want behind beyond Big Thunder? Behind mm -hmm. Big Thunder, yeah. What's going there? What do you want there? What do you think Disney's putting there? Give us what you want, what you think, and what you don't want. Just comment. Let's talk about it because this is big news. Magic Kingdom's under construction, and in about one month time, we'll know exactly what they're doing. So stay tuned because we're going to be covering all of that on upcoming episodes. But until then, keep believing in magic. A little delayed, but she got it. Bye.